Merrily here with Slumberjack. Here we have the Contour Bibby, your perfect high country solution for overnight adventures. It packs up to this size and only weighs one pound five ounces. So it's a great alternative to not bringing a full tent but still getting the protection you need. It works great if you use it with a Slumberjack sleeping bag as it has these unique arm ports so you can still get up, cook food, read a book, while still staying protected within the bivy system. A unique feature about this bivy is that it has this hoop construction, giving it some structure, lifting it up off of your face. It also has this mesh panel, which helps promote airflow, keeps bugs away, and prevents that claustrophobic feeling you can get when you're wrapped up in a bivy. A nice feature, in case the weather does turn sour on you, is this flap over. You can either leave it flapped over or you can create this tunnel air hole type setup so that you can still breathe and maintain airflow and avoid condensation while you're sleeping throughout the night. The dual zipper feature is great. You can unzip it from the bottom or the top, giving you lots of options depending on how you sleep. The Contour Bivy is fully waterproof and tape seams. It has this great durable base layer and this unique Highlander Cryptek pattern on the top. So it provides concealment and protection from the elements. The Slumberjack Contour Bivy is your backcountry solution for all four seasons. The SOL Escape Bivy is a revolution in backcountry emergency bivvies. As the most fully featured shelter in the lineup, the Escape Bivy offers body heat reflectivity, high water resistance, full wind blockage, and drum roll please, breathability. The Escape lets your body's condensation escape through micropores in the fabric. So for the first time in an emergency shelter, you stay warm and dry. No more cold mornings waking up wet inside your bivy. When the weather turns bad, the waterproof seams keep moisture outside, and the bivy seals up entirely to keep the elements out. Just zip up the quarter length side zip and cinch the hood closure tight to wait out any storm. Use the Escape Bivy on its own as part of an ultralight sleep system or put it over your down bag to boost its temperature rating. During the Adventure Racing World Championships in Tasmania, I spent six wet and cold days in the backcountry and the Escape was all my teammates and I needed. The time for compromise is over, my friends. The Escape Bivy ushers in a new paradigm in backcountry emergency shelters. Versatile, durable, heat reflective, and breathable. Good afternoon, my name's Hippie Swift and today I'm going to be running you guys at home through the Snugpack Stratosphere Bivy Tent. This is an ultralight shelter, which I think is the ultimate thing for bikepacking and bicycle tourists who want to go that extra bit lighter. The first thing you'll notice is this nice little case here. It's got some winching straps so you can cinch it down effectively. And a nice little dry bag comes with it. It's very compact and I highly recommend these as a material is really really good these are extra bits just a little bit of velcro strap what this comes with is the main the main bivy bag system itself tent pegs which are nice quality and the tent poles themselves are absolutely ideal and they're no more than nine inches long which is perfect for fitting inside your frame bag or anything if you want to actually squash this down a bit more compact in your rear tail pack or anything like that. The two poles do actually have a difference. There's a fully jet black one and this black one which ends a dark green colour, like a shiny dark green. They actually go into the dark green colour sleeve ends and the poles themselves actually hoop over and crisscross each other and then slot into these little hoop eyelets down here. So let's get on with that. Right, so now the head of the bivvy's there. All we need to do now is peg this bit out just for some airflow. There's a bit of mosquito netting here for lots of, again, airflow, as well as some mesh at the front. So let's peg the actual bivvy down now. Peg this out with a spared stake type thing. And then get inside and see what it looks like.
and there we have it that's the stratosphere tent all nicely set up in water and wind repellent and waterproof sorry trying to get rid of these elastic bands before it cuts off my circulation and then we take a look inside For some of the features on this tent, it's actually really, really water repellent. There's some Velcro here, going down to a, another tapered seam type thing, all the way across. How you enter and exit the tent, if I find it. <laughs> There's a big zip up here, just like that. You could actually leave it open in the night, but there's not much need for that. This is actually a mosquito net in the top of this. So with a little faffing about, you can just do that up with the mesh mosquito net there. Nice and breathable, as well as letting a nice breeze through towards the back. And this breathable mesh really helps stop condensation building up inside your bag, getting everything damp and moist, and you'll end up cold in the night sometimes as well. So a great tip for this is to open up all the vents in your tent when it's not raining. This tent is perfectly waterproof, but of course, these seams do need to be in place. If they're down at all, moisture could build up here and get inside through the zip. So it's always worth it just to fold it over and put it onto the Velcro, and that will promote a nice little environment for you to help maintain a warm and dry night's sleep. Opening up the bivy, you can see lots of room to get in. This zip actually runs near enough near enough a foot off your feet type thing so you can get in it with plenty of room just like that I'll actually demonstrate getting in this bag now I wasn't going to but I will just for the comedy factor but yeah to be fair it's plenty nicely nice and room you can sleep on your side without much issue at all and I really look forward to using this little bivy tent the reason I chose this style bivy tent with a hoot up here was more or less I'm sick and tired of carrying a separate big mosquito net, dry liner, bivy bag for my sleeping bag and uh, all the accessories and uh, a big tarp as well. Uh, with this everything's in one place and it's lighter and more compact than all my lightweight equipment that I already have separately so uh, even though you can put the bivy bag in one pouch on your bike and your mosquito net in another type of thing this just on the front of your bar bag type thing bike pack and a bicycle touring and with your clothes or whatever again it's got a waterproof case so you can put it out on the outskirts as well of your bags don't have to be waterproof environment for it main benefit for me it's nice and simple there's no faffing about in the night trying to get your tarp up and then your bivy bag out and then your sleeping bag in there and then after that of course you have to block your sleeping pad as well your sleeping mat sorry so uh, lots of faffing about with this you just put it down put your sleeping mat in sleeping bag in it done you know there's no faffing about at all you don't even really need a sleeping bag with this if it's if you're lightweight bike packing you don't need a sleeping bag i use the snug pack adventure racing sleeping bag uh, along with this uh, adventure racing vest from snug pack again Highly recommended for cycling or camping, backpacking, whatever. Uh, no sleeve, so it's nice and breathable. Again, always have airflow, whatever you're wearing, whatever you're in, nice airflow, keeps you nice and warm and dry. So just to clarify, this is my ultimate tent. This is going to do me well for the next few years, I reckon. Lightweight bike packing, bicycle touring, whatever. Just wild camping in general. All over the United Kingdom, I have some really nice plans for this. So I really look forward to all of the adventures and opportunities that this small bivy can give me for stealth camping wherever I am. At just over a kilo in weight, this is pretty much one of the lightest bivy or tent setups that you're going to be able to find for bicycle touring and bike packing, unless you're spending six, seven, eight hundred dollars, something like that, and then you'll be looking into a supreme lightweight range i would just like to point out that this is my honest opinion from my six to seven years bike packing and bicycle touring all over the united kingdom if you like this video or wish to find out more about snug pack products like this bivy setup or my vest and sleeping bag 
then look in the description box below this video. If you'd like to see more videos of mine and adventures and reviews, please click the link down here or even in the top right hand corner, there'll be cars popping up any second now. Till next time, stay safe and hope you find peace. Oh.